Now we've already discussed what is cost classification. We have discussed how to prepare an manufacturing accounts for a factory, how to prepare an income statement for the outlet. Finally, we are moving forward to learn how to make a balance sheet that is statement of financial position for a manufacturing company. Now, first of all, I'll be writing heading, which is normally given in an examination question. Statement of financial position is basically made in three columns. Now, the three columns doesn't have anything to do with debit credit, obviously. We have three columns. First of all, we'll be writing assets. Uh, SOFP is basically made on the premise of, uh, we can say, accounting equation. Now, the accounting equation is assets is equal to capital plus liabilities. Although there is a minus one uh, as well, but we'll be using here the plus equation. Assets is equal to capital plus liabilities. First of all, we have assets. There are two types of basically assets. One are non-current assets and another one is current assets. Now the three columns, cost, accumulated depreciation and net book value. Cost is the original amount paid for buying an asset. Accumulated depreciation, also known as provision for depreciation, is the total depreciation till date of the assets. And if we deduct accumulated depreciation from cost, we are left with the value that is net book value. Uh, for example, we have factory machinery. Now, uh, either the asset belongs to the factory or the asset belongs to the office or admin department. All of the non-current assets or current assets will come here uh, because we'll be making only one statement of financial position for the entire business. There won't be two statement of financial positions uh, such that uh, there was a manufacturing account for the factory and the income statement was for the outlet. We'll be going to make a combined statement of financial position. Okay. Uh, if we did provision for depreciation from cost we are left with the value of nbv network value then we have office equipment the same procedure would be repeated for it uh, we do not need to have the total for cost and accumulated depreciation the amount that we are concerned with is netbook value and after non-current asset we have current asset so basically the sofp is exactly the same only one difference is there uh, when we compare the statement of financial position for our manufacturing business as to uh, with a sole trader the, the the only difference is that for inventory so basically in a sole trader there is only one inventory uh, but in a manufacturing environment there are basically three types of inventory one is raw material inventory then we have work in progress inventory finally we have finished goods inventory so we'll be adding up all of these we'll be writing it separately as well and our, after we have added all of these inventory there comes uh, total inventory figure that is closing inventory now after inventory everything is the same we have trade receivables then we need to deduct provision for doubtful debt uh, we do not need to show bad debt here because bad debt irrecoverable debt is already deducted from this trade receivable figure the trade receivable figure that we'll be writing would be the net figure we won't be showing bad debt here uh, but we'll be showing the provision for doubtful debt here okay then we have other receivables other receivable would be a uh, prepaid expense or accrued income then we have bank or cash balances if we add all of these values these are total current assets these are non-current asset if we add up both of these types of assets we'll be getting the figure for total assets now in accounting equation we have assets is equal to capital plus liability now the next heading would be equity and liability or capital and liability now the capital is the same that we used to calculate when we make account for a sole trader that is opening capital which is already given in the examination question then we add a profit for the year we have already discussed how to calculate profit for the year using an income statement then we have drawings uh, either they are drawing for uh, in cash form or check form or either the drawing are in goods form all of the drawings will be added here in order to calculate total drawing now after assets and capital uh, we uh, just need to have one a last item that is liabilities there are two types of liabilities non-current liability and current liability non-current liability we have bank loan and we uh, this is important we need to write the percentage that is 10 percent and this the year the year is basically the maturity date of the loan at what date we need to return this loan to our loan providers that is lenders bank or some individual then we have current liabilities we have trade payables uh, this is creditors we have other payables there can be accrued expense or there can be prepaid income in this and there can be bank overdraft okay if we add up all of these current liabilities 
assets uh, sorry uh, capital and liabilities if you add up capital and liabilities side this would coincide with total asset side okay so the asset side would equal uh, capital liability and if the assets matches with capital liability this means our question is correct thank you